Hey, Matthew, you're going to break you down here with Stephen Lacey. So I'm going to take you out of your leg lift. I'm going to take him out of his leg lift. So getting to the point right before leg drive, and right before you start to push off the backside there, you can see a lot more counter rotation with Stephen here than you. His trunk is even leaning farther, much farther back. I'm not saying you should lean that far back, but definitely more counter rotation in your trunk, a little bit more of a lean back. And then really here's the problem is, see how he's sitting deep into his hip? See how his knee is externally rotated, okay? You can see right here, your knee is going inward. So you're starting to collapse your back leg. So that means you're already losing force at that point. He's in a position where he hasn't initiated. So he's got a lot of opportunity to gain force here, which he does. He opens and then he initiates that force and that drive into landing. You can see when you open, you're transferring your weight early, collapsing your back leg, and then you land with your trunk forward, more forward than, than Steven. His is a little bit more vertical. Yours is more forward. His hips are completely open from his drive. Yours isn't, okay? Even though your shoulders are still closed, look how much more what we call horizontal abduction. He's more coiled up because of the countering of all the forces in the lower half. And then from here, you're going to see stabilize his front leg really well as he goes forward. You don't stabilize front leg. You lose it. So you're losing what energy you created. So he's got a lot more dynamic finish. Stable front leg, more forward trunk. That's a 96 mile an hour pitch. So you really got to go back to the drawing board and really learn how to sit and load on your backside like he does here. So you can get a better drive into front foot and optimize hip to shoulder separation. And then you gotta be able to stabilize your front side. And that's the stabilizing of the front side and even the drive just shows you, you don't have the leg power that you need. So you really gotta focus on the lifting, the lifting and the squatting, the deep squatting, uh, the deadlifting, the, and then for the power aspects, the clean pulls, all the clean variations and your jumps and your plyometrics, all that's critical for you to be able to move like this.